back at I'm Quitting Alcohol with David Boyle. Maybe you're not back. Maybe it's your first time here. Maybe you listened to 166 and you're like, fuck him, he's feeling good now. I'm out of here. I liked it better when he was depressed as fuck. Well, I'm still depressed as fuck. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. No, I'm not feeling as good as yesterday, but still feeling good. I'm feeling good that it's the end of Sober October. Annoying fucking sober people. Fuck sober people annoy the shit out of me. The weather is starting to get hot here in sunny fucking Melbourne. It never used to get this hot this quick. So hopefully it is global warming. Fingers crossed it's global warming and it's here to stay. Actually, I don't even fucking like hot weather. I don't like the beach at all. I grew up right on the beach and I went in the water, I would say about six times. I never liked getting my rig out. I am not a comfortable take your shirt off guy. I've got fucking childbearing hips. When I'm eating as much ice cream as I do, my breasts start developing as well. I was going to say I want a six-pack this summer. I want to be able to take my shirt off freely this summer. We all know that's going to go the same way as everything else I say. It is not going to be put into action. That's for sure. Summer gets too fucking hot here. I never used to fucking take my shirt off in front of anyone. Except girls in the dark. Pitch black room, lights off, shirt off. Otherwise... It stays on because I present as though I have a good rig. But my rig is, it's less than ideal. Let's just put it that way. I used to wear jackets and jeans in the middle of summer, like 40 degrees Celsius, which is like, I don't know, fucking 300 Fahrenheit. I went down to the beach one year and everyone was down there. Everyone besides a few people had a good rig. And by rig, I mean bod. And so everyone was down at the beach, shirts off. I rock up down the beach in a jacket and jeans. And everyone starts playing football. I join in. Everyone's running around. I am fucking drenched in sweat. Everyone's like, take your jacket off. I'm like, no, I'm not even hot. They're like, seriously, Boyle, you look like you're going to fucking pass out. Take your jacket off. It's the middle of summer. I'm like, dude, if I was hot, I would just take my jacket off. I'm not even fucking hot. They're like, it's 44 degrees. The tar from the bitumen is literally fucking melting. Take your jacket off, Boyle. I'm like, nah, I can't even feel it. I'm real close to going into cardiac arrest, but I will not take that jacket off. I know as soon as I take the jacket off, everyone's going to want to go for a swim. And then the next thing I know, I'll have to take my fucking shirt off in front of everyone. And then there'd be cunts doing backflips. I'd be doing bombs. I almost fucking died that day. There was one time when I was playing football in my mid-twenties. This is when I was a full booze hound, so the body was out of fucking control. The whole footy team was there, and we split into two teams. And one team was the shirts on, and the other team was the shirts off. And usually, because this happens a lot, Shirts on, shirts off. That does happen a lot. Usually I weasel out of it, but I got trapped like a deer in fucking headlights. And I ended up on shirts off side. And there was no way I could weasel out of it because everyone just did it immediately. It was like shirt off and people were just whipping their fucking shirts off. I'm like, this is a fucking nightmare come true. So I have to take my shirt off. No one in the footy team knew I was capable of giving birth to triplets. But they knew now. And then the coach goes, just pair up with someone your size. And so everyone starts pairing up. And this is without a word of a fucking lie. The fattest cunt on the footy team waddles over towards me. I'm like, you are fucking kidding, aren't you? Oh, so what? You're the fattest and I'm the second fattest. I fucking dominated that training session though. Because I was like, I'm going to make up for these fucking tits. I could not believe it when that fat fuck waddled over to me. Came over and like shook his hand. I'm like, get away from me, please. Hi, I'm Steven. I'm like, fuck. 
All these years I've been hiding it underneath loose shirts and sucking my stomach in and standing tall. And it was all undone in one fucking training session. What I'm trying to say is it's going to be a long fucking summer for me. I'm going to be hiding out in dark, shadowy corners, avoiding direct sunlight. That's why bars were good. I'm a creature of the night anyway. I should not be out in the daylight. All right, that's fucking it. That haunts me, that footy training. Add me on social medias. Hit me up. DM me. I am at Boyle Comedy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you're enjoying the podcast, subscribe, review, share with your friends, do all that shit. All right, that's it. That's me, Dan Cochilada.